Wow, what a night and what a morning, huh? This uh, is my first real, true, solid flight following Sim Update 10 official release, um, flying DX12, which I've not ever been able to do. And I didn't realize that it was a big part of it was the OpenXR toolkit, which I uninstalled last night for a flight video, but one of my viewers, thankfully, let me know that they've updated OpenXR Toolkit and it now can f be used with DX12. So my OpenXR Toolkit right now is on and enabled. I'm really just using it for the colors. My resolution in it is set at 100%. I like it because it can control the colors more than anything. Um, I'm not using like fixed foveated rating. Uh, Whatever that is, fixed foveated rendering. I don't use that feature of it. Uh, I don't use the shaking. I really, like I said, just use the color portion of it. Um, my settings are pretty much all up on high. I think the only one that's on ultra is the pre-rendering frames, but everything else is on high. The beginning of this video, it's a little stuttery. About halfway through, I made a change on one of my settings and I think improved the smoothness substantially. So you may notice it from the first half. After we fly around Seattle here, which is where we're at, but once we fly around the city and leave it and start heading towards the mountain, at some point there, I made a change. And again, I'm not really gonna get into a lot of my settings because I'm fairly certain they're likely to change when NVIDIA releases their draft graphics driver, their game ready. I know some people are using the studio driver, but it has not been announced that the studio driver optimizes or enables the optimizations for NVIDIA in Microsoft Flight Simulator. That's not announced as part of the studio driver, so I'm waiting for the game ready driver. Uh, that's why I figure my settings will change, so I'm not going to talk about them a lot. The NVIDIA control panel settings, most of those are really where they've always been for me. The in-game settings, like I said, if anything, they're just cranked up now. Um, I have airlines on, I have, you know, ground traffic on, <laughs> everything's up on high. I'm not using photogrammetry, believe it or not. Uh, my world updates are all installed. But no, no photogrammetry turned on. I am using the Bing World Data. And like I said, mostly everything is on high here. Uh, Bloom isn't on and ambient occlusion is not on. But to tell you the truth, I don't really miss them that much. I mean, to me, the graphics look quite well. <laughs> You know, quite good, quite good. Um, but yeah, you can see it's, it's starting to look a little smoother now. I, again, I forget what the change was that I made specifically because, you know, as I'm flying, I'm changing, flying, changing, flying, changing. I'm always looking for that ultimate combination of settings. I still get this. Yeah, I'm a little stutter one. Well, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm, I'm very happy so far. First off, like I said, I've never been able to fly with DX12, and this was an entire flight. Uh, take off to landing, ground to ground flight, and I've never been able to do that with DX12. It was a good long flight. I would say probably close to 35, 40 minutes to fly around Seattle, out to the mountain, and then back. Although I don't return back to the same airport. I quite that far but yeah I mean look at the graphics here really sweet looking and I know this video is a little long well I don't think so but it's just under nine minutes which means most people will probably watch a minute of it because <laughs> that's about an average for a video it seems no matter how long it is most people don't have the patience to sit there and watch more than a minute or so um, but I guess that's the way the world is now. So for me, the hardest part is trying to trim it down. It, it's 
it's like painful to trim something a, a good flight down to an eight minute video or a nine minute video it is it's just so much you want to show and so much you want to see uh and again i like watching my own videos i think they they they're really enjoyable to see the flights not just mine but others you know i like watching everybody's flights especially in br but some of the guys that fly in the pancake mode have some really sweet videos as well you might have the eye tracking or just really smooth on handling their mouse view. Yeah, it looks really nice. Looks really nice. Again, I you you notice I get a jump here and there and that's something with my USBs and I, I don't know what is going on. I just cannot figure that out for the life of me. I mean, I'm almost to the point where I may reinstall Windows just to try and get rid of that dang problem. Um, okay, so yeah, so now there's the mountain again. We're leaving it now. You can see, looking down, looking to the side, it's it's relatively smooth. Here we go, looking down. I mean, if there's a stutter there, it's pretty imperceptible at this point. No, fun place to land. You gotta stay above the trees and then drop quickly here. Yeah, I think my speed's uh, no, I'm coming in a little fast here, aren't I? Yeah, <laughs> little fast. Okay. Hope nobody's watching this landing. Yowza. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Uh, yeah. Two. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. And I'm taking out a running light. I'm. Yeah. Okay. That, ooh, maybe two, two, three hours. Uh, oh, there's that down. Oh, man. No. Oh, wait. Ooh. All right. Let's, uh, shh, shh. let's pretend we were, that wasn't us. Let's, uh, let's pretend we were parked over here all the time. Yeah, that was some other guy. Yeah, shh. All right, don't tell anybody. Yeah, that wasn't us. Hello? No, no, no. We've been parked here. We're just getting ready to take off. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> all right, no. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> its uh, performance is pretty good. Again, DX12, never been able to do that. Uh, traffic on, a lot of features up on high. And I think the second half of the flight was relatively smooth. My dashboard, I can read all the small numbers. I can't read all the fine text on the labels, but I don't need to. But I can read all the digits on all the gauges in front of me in this airplane right now. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. See you in the skies.